As they try to work this out, we're going to get the restart with four laps to go. On the point, Ryan Newman trying to score the first win for what is Stuart Haas Racing. Dale Jr. trying to win four in a row for Rick Hendrick with four different drivers. Kurt Busch trying to get back to victory lane. Not and sure what Tony Stewart yeah, just did. Uh, the Tony's, car, Mike. Tony's not going. Something's wrong with his car. Yeah. He's uh, off the pace. Not getting up to speed at all. No. And you see what Dale Jr. was talking about. He's laying the wood to, he's laying a bumper to that 39 car, trying to get him away from the rest of the pack. But tell you what, that 31 and that 6 and maybe that 20 car, I think they may have a little something for that front two or three. No real big front yet. No real big front. You're three laps one. to go when they come back. Newman trying to hold the bottom. And look at our buddy Carl Evers who hung around at the back all day. And here he is. He's in the eighth position right here in the back of this lead pack in pretty darn good shape. Coming in three to go. Three to go. Eight and car breakaway at the front. Still a lot of action behind them. But likely one go. of these eight. There you go. Larry, this is what you come to Talladega for. You come to Talladega for these unpredictable, wild, crazy finishes. Stewart just came by, and he's on seven cylinders. That's a shame. He had a good shot. He could have helped his teammate because I think he's going to need it. Now, Ryan keeps allowing, uh, Junior keeps peeking the nose out to the inside, but there's no room there to make a move. No, and I'm not sure why Ryan is kind of leaving that bottom, just that little bit of an opening. He get a, he's got to get the, a fender underneath of him and shove him right up out of the way if he's not careful. And I need to know about the runs. I need to know the guy runs. And four, he's trying to get back there to the 31, but the 31 doesn't. Junior wants his spotter to be a commentator and tell him everything that's happening behind him. And then he'll decide where to go and when. Well, he's got two, two left to, go. to decide. I tell you, it's working like he wanted it to, though, because here they come. Look at the 99 and Brad Keselowski. Brad Keselowski. And we, uh, once again, there's that two-car draft. And, and they look have got to go. And they get off turn two. That's 10 mile an hour faster than the cars in front of them. They'll be coming to the white flag this time. It's going to get interesting because Junior cannot sit there and run second. This is his best shot at winning he's had in a while. He's not going to run second in this race, I can tell you. And is Edwards going to get to the front, or are they going to stall out they got before that they run. get to Junior? They got that run, baby. And what's interesting, that's a Hendrick car running second. That's a Hendrick-related car leading the race. And that's a Hendrick-related car pushing Carl Edwards' white flag this time. Yeah, Carl Edwards from the back all day to the lead with one to go. Three Chevys and one Ford. And it doesn't matter now. Your friends are where you find them. And oh, from hanging boy. out back, Carl Edwards. I tell you, I don't know if they can catch him. What we've seen today, two cars get that big elite run on them. I don't know that the 39 and the 88 can catch them. They're in the draft of Edwards and Keslowski. He's all over you here, just you and him. Carl Edwards restarted eighth. If that nine, if that 09 can stay hooked to the back of that 99, it's going to be hard to get them. It's going to be close right here at the line. Can Kozlowski try to win it? I don't know. I don't think he can step out until he waits till the last second and picks he up. He's going to get outside. Is Edwards going to oh, no. He turns it. No. No. Oh, and that no. destroyed the front end of Newman's car. No. Edwards will not make it to the flag. Oh, Brad no. Kozlowski won this race. Unbelievable. Carl Edwards' car destroyed. And Junior's protege, Keslowski, the winner. And Carl Edwards is moving around and ready to climb out. Larry, look at that. The, the carburetor has gone it's off. He's completely the gone. Carl did uh, what he wanted to do. He stayed at the back all day long. He played it smart. Had this race possibly won. Not now. Not sure where Carl's going. Maybe he thinks if he runs across the start finish line, that'll count. That's what he's. That's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. It's like a mar You know how he is. He's an athlete, a marathon runner. I want to finish the race. And he did yes, to he a did. standing ovation from the crowd. Shades of Ricky Bobby. Don't you know, Larry, that James Finch is fit to be tied right now? Finch owns this car. 
He bought it from Rick Hendrick and leased the engine, a whole Hendrick package. Let's take a look, Mike. Carl Edwards, he opened it up just a little bit. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think uh, this is a hard lick right into the fence. I mean, that car, that wow. looked like Bobby Allison did here in 1987. The catch fence did its job, Thank and goodness. the car did its job. Thank goodness we have the new, stronger, much stronger, safer uh, catch fences. And Newman took a hard hit from Edwards as well. Look at just a car with the room left on the bottom. And what happened here is the 09 looked to the outside. Carl went up a little bit to block him, and 09 went right back to the bottom and clipped him. You know, the move looked a lot like the one that Brian Vickers put on Jimmy Johnson when Vickers won. Wow. But what a hit. Wow. That is 1987 all over again. Oh, my gosh. And did you see that? I believe it was Biffle that almost T-boned the 99. But watch. The 09 is going to look to the outside where he already has. Carl went up to block him a little bit. Now he's going to come down to try to block him again. And you get one shot at it, but you don't get two. Watch this. What a lick. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Unbelievable. You know, and, and looking very carefully at the catch fencing that held, and I did not see any debris go into the grandstand, uh, and that certainly is unbelievable. It's very gratifying to see. Well, <laughs> I knew it was going to be wild. I didn't know it was going to be this wild. Right, here's a three back from him. This is from Carl's onboard Looking camera. Inside, zero, nine. But, Daryl, I, I want to ask you. And from Dale, Jr. Oof. But, Daryl, I want to ask you on air, because I did not see Brad Keselowski do anything wrong there. No, no, it was a blocking move on Carl. The 09 looked to the outside. Carl went up to block that move, and when Carl came down, the 09 was there. Another first-time winner at Talladega. Here's the cool-down lap. Dale Jr. and Brad Keselowski kind of getting together. Jr. Well, with a big fist pump, and whoa, Brad, Keselowski. Brad Keselowski didn't see him up there. <laughs> now everybody's Kyle gonna, Bush. Everybody's going to say that Kyle Bush spun the winner out after the race, <laughs> but I beg, I beg to pardon it with you. <laughs>